For constant acceleration motion, we use the four kinematics equations. Perhaps you can try to write them from memory first. We have final velocity equals to initial velocity plus AT. Displacement is VOT plus one half AT squared. And final velocity squared equals to initial velocity squared plus 2A delta X. And the delta X is, by definition, average velocity times time. But for constant acceleration motion, the average velocity can be found by finding the average of the initial and final velocities. For constant angular acceleration motion, we have something similar. The final angular velocity equals to the initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration times time. The angular displacement is initial angular velocity times time plus one half alpha t squared. And the final angular velocity squared is the initial squared plus two alpha delta theta. And the, um, the angular displacement is uh, the average angular velocity times uh, time. And uh, for constant angular acceleration motion, the average angular velocity can be found by finding the average of the initial and the final angular velocities. And over here, there are five quantities involved. Final angular velocity, initial angular velocity, angular acceleration time, and angular displacement. And in each equation, there are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four things involved. That means that for a constant angular acceleration motion problem, if we know three things, we'll be able to use one of the equations to find the fourth quantity, and then use another of these equations to find the fifth quantity. So if we know three of these, we'll be able to find the other two.